Hello everyone, so today I'm going to review my Studio 86 Leader Class Snarl. This is Snarl. I'll give you guys a full 360 of this pretty cool figure. There it's his front view, nice Autobot insignia, nice little detailing you got going on there. He really looks like the G1 cartoon in my opinion. He's got his big old sword, has a side view, big thick stegosaur rear legs become his arms. There's his back, his plates fold up and his split tail kind of forms this little back ornamentation. Kind of looks like a shogun armor or something. Kind of curves upward armor. There's the back of his legs. The uh, dino bits are nicely tucked away. Oh, just gotta... There. Nicely tucked away over there. That's this side. A little close up of his chest. Just like in the old toy, he's got this... Uh, target thing looking here. I remember in the, I have the generation 2 snarl and yeah he kind of has this thing too. Nice broad body. He's got that nice that's his face. Looks pretty geo and accurate. So he really looks like himself in the original cartoon. For articulation let's start with the top. Heads on a ball and socket so you could get it to move all around and kind of he can kind of tilt forwards like so. His waist can turn around. He can turn all the way around the waist. His arms can spread out like this. They are ratcheted so they could also turn them all around. Got a pretty good, uh, these things turn around. This thing folds in with a nice elbow bend. His wrists also twist around. So that's his articulation on the upper body. He can do the full splits, of course. These twist above the thigh. Got a nice knee bend that's ratcheted so we can hold poses over time. This one tilts also so you could get him on a, you know, you could always show him resting on the ground because he's got a sort of an ankle rocker. And his toes, which is more for the transformation, could fold all the way down. So this, so those, so that's pretty much Snarl's articulation over there. So awesome figure. He's around, uh, if I'm not mistaken, around 8 plus inches tall or eight inches so that's him in robot mode if you want to see how it stacks up this is him next to my Kubian Devastator scales pretty well this is my uh, knockoff Devastator it's a pretty good Devastator on its own but uh, they stand pretty well together let's get a good angle of them scales much better when he's in dino form so that is Snarl so let's Put aside Devastator first, and this is this is his only accessory. His sword, which has pretty good detailing, it's sort of soft and bendy. It's kind of like this soft, rubbery plastic, but you know, it holds its form. Nice detailing over there. It's got this thing so you could stick it on a hole when he's in Stegosaurus form at his back, but he grips it over here when he's in robot form. So that's a pretty nice-looking sword over there. So, I'm going to show you guys how to transform Snarl. So, transformation wise, this guy is not really too hard to transform. So, first thing you want to do is you want to flip out his little dinosaur legs on his arms like this. You just pull them up back. You do the same for the other arm. Pull them out. Then you'd like to curve his bicep. If you notice, there's a little hole here and the tab here. So you tab those things together. So what you're doing is you're sort of compacting his dinosaur leg. So you can kind of see there that's his chunky old rear dinosaur leg. Twist his wrist so that you could uh, seal it in like this. Spin it all around so it kind of clicks when it goes into the right place. Bring back his little dinosaur foot over there and twist this one forward. You know, that is the front of his foot. Do the same thing here in his other arm tab to this hole over here and just curve it all the way until those two pieces meet so you can get his chunky old dinosaur leg going on twist the wrist tuck it in wait for the click you know it's all good when it makes a little click push this one up turn this around you got his rear legs going on so you kind of get an idea of how he looks now next thing you want to do is you unfurl this back section over here it's just on tab so you just have to gently Pull it down, pull it out, 
So you got that thing going on. His head can now, you know, you could just push it back, recline that head all the way back. You can imagine this thing comes forward because you're forming the back half now. Then you could actually also close up his shoulder pads or his shoulder ornaments into his dino tail. So they tab in together. So you more or less see where, the, where this is going. You got his front half. You got his back half, rather, slowly coming into shape. Just got to angle his legs because you can kind of figure out that's more or less his dinosaur rear end. Next, what you want to do is you want to work on the bottom half from at this point. So you could untab these calves at the back. Undoing so you'll notice out comes his little dino legs that are nicely tucked in there. You swivel them out. Swing these legs out over there. And you could, they tab in. So there's a little hole, there's a tab. And you are forming his front dinosaur end. So you're starting to get an idea of his front end over there. So just gotta put these things out because that's the front part of his body. And this thing's got a pretty cool feature, just like an original generation one, generation two toy. His spine extends, so you just pull down on it, or pull up on this part, or pull down this part to reveal this. Then you turn it all around, and as you can see, when you fold this half, you're gonna get your dinosaur. You're gonna get your dinosaur fully formed. So once that's done, you could connect these pieces over here. You notice the two halves of his legs have holes and tabs so you can now connect them once you got them connected you can swing them forward make sure nothing gets on the way so, whoops. and make sure these halves stay connected so I'm going to uh, make sure mine stays connected over here notice when you line them up there are lots of tabs to guide you and you slowly turn it little by little turn it all in then what you want to do is you want to untab this front part because that's where his head's going to swing out and as it folds here you could lift this this entire ch chest section can be slightly lifted so the point of doing this is you could slide his little feet inside the little slots underneath as you can see you can really see his head coming out too just gotta continue the process of swinging out his head make sure it stays tabbed in you got his little dinosaur head swinging out so once these toe tips are tabbed against these little slots when you raised up his robot chest you can now collapse the spine collapse it inward just make sure there we go push it in now you could also close up his lower calves that become his underbelly so as you can see there are some tabs here to guide you there's a hole here there's a tab here so make sure those all line up and once it does you got your stegosaurus so it's just now a matter of sort of cleaning him up You got holes and tabs, so just tab this one over here. And lastly, this upper half tabs, little tabs up here, go into these square holes down there. Yeah, make sure everything's lined up, of course. And there he is. That's Snarl in his dinosaur mode. As mentioned, he's got a tiny hole over here, so if you want, you could put in his sword, which for me looks a little goofy, so I usually just keep the sword away because, you know, it was kind of funny with this thing hanging out there. But that's more or less him, or that's him in dinosaur mode. So this is Snarl in dinosaur mode. Articulation-wise, he's got, you could move his limbs, of course. You got some articulation on his knees slash feet. So you could angle those to make his feet all on the ground. He's got an articulate mouth, as you can see. Mouth opens up and down. 
He's got a non-articulate tail, but that's pretty much the articulation. It's the four limbs and the mouth. He's a very solid figure, very chunky, old school Stegosaurus, kind of like how they, I mean the new Stegosaurus now, the tail's extended up, but these guys got that old school look of a very chunky brick-like dinosaur and it looks pretty good. He looks like the G1, that old school dinosaur, old school sort of tail dragging dinosaur. So he's got his nice little golden spine uh, plates, which are sort of in soft plastic. Yeah, they're soft plastic. And he's got his little spikes on his tail. One, two, three, four. That These ones are really tiny. But, you know, it looks pretty good. He's got nice little coloring. So, pretty good figure. Just like the original figure. He's got the splits on his head. Um, you could clearly see the seam, but, you know, it's not that bad. It's not, it's not that bad for me. I could, uh, I could tolerate it. Even though that seam is highly visible. But that's how he looks as a dinosaur and it looks pretty good as a dinosaur at first i found them a little bit too compact but it looks pretty good actually maybe if only the plates were a little bit bigger but you know he'd, he'd look a little weird in robot form his plates were too big now that he's in this form for me he scales really well with my deluxe size third party or knockoff devastator kubian who will become brave i mean the original hasbro one which was also too expensive for me was a little bit too big but the cool become brave kubian scales up pretty nicely to my dinobot snarl so that's how they look together so they look pretty impressive together i still have his box so that's pretty good box art of him firing energy blasts or lasers from the spikes of his tail Studio Series 86, Dinobot Snarl, Transformers the movie. So he came out in the movie very briefly, more of like a cameo because I don't know what happened, why he wasn't in most of the movie, but he came out in that movie. Taka, Takara Tomi Hasbro, you see that in the box. The top part says Transformers the movie. Nice little close-up of Snarl's face on the side. Plastic free packaging. The other side has him with the 86 Studio Series lining up the sides. It says there, it says there Leader Class and 19 up there. Our nice artwork of Snarl. He's got no seam on his head. <laughs> I think that's him battling in Autobot City. He was probably doing some stuff there because, you know, it's like, it looks like the skies of Earth. And this looks like they're the sweeps up here. It's, see a close-up he's battling with the sweeps so snarl was probably just doing stuff in the background while grimlock and company were in the main adventure the rear of the box has this so you got him in both forms and also as you can see here the box comes with a diorama inside uh, diorama meaning this little carton boxed over there I, it says here Transformers the movie in the bottom on the stage area and this one I think looks like Autobot City on Earth and you could put your snarl here making himself relevant in the movie you could sort of imagine he's doing something exciting over there but there he is that snarl with his backdrop and not bad not bad at all you could say that he was doing some stuff on Earth while the other Dinobots were in the main adventure so that's his box Snarl here scales really nicely with the rest of his Dinobot brethren. There they are. They look awesome together. Look at them. All four of the terrestrial Dinobots. So now, just waiting for Swoop to come out to complete Studio 86 Dinobots. <laughs> 